I got something juicy for you today, guys. Cedify has been knocking it out of the park. Ever since I partnered with them, I've been introducing IGOs to you that are going to be coming up. October 1st, we have Continuum World, which the website is adorable. This is going to be a free-to-play MMORPG, a 2D landscape to where you can mine and farm resources and turn them in to sell for their native token called the UM token or the UM token. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It's, it's U-M. And we're going to be going over the details of that today. But you build, explore, craft, and trade. And you can even get pets to use in races against other players. So there's a bunch of different aspects that we're going to be going over today. First of all, October 1st is when the C to 5 sale is going to be. And look at the, just look at the projects that they've been covering. We, we recently covered Forest Night. We've got Crypto Blade Kingdoms that's coming up, Blocktopia coming up, Continuum World, which we're going to be going over, and Spin Top. Now, the completed pools so far that we've covered Monster Clan, Poco Land, Snook, and Crypto Meta. In the blockchain universe, guys, C to 5 is it. If you're not familiar with C to 5 yet, Registered users with the S Fund tokens can actually do what's called an IDO or an IGO, which means they can buy tokens at a really, really steep discount before anybody else can, before the public sale goes. And it's usually a very lucrative process. Now, we don't have access to it in the US, and there's some countries that can't because of KYC regulations, and that's all based on the government and stuff like that. But in my first C to five video, I talked to you about how to do this, and it's it's very, very easy to find out if you're eligible. Just come to launchpad.c2fi.fund and go to the specific game that you want to register for. Uh, recently, we did Forest Night. Today, we're looking at Continuum, but you would click on it and you would connect your wallet. You would have to be KYC verified on BlockPass. I'm going to have all this information in the description below. But all you have to do from there is when this countdown goes to zero, you're eligible to buy. The, the round goes pretty fast, but you'll be able to buy tokens if you're an S fund holder on the tier system that we reviewed in the other videos. But you need at least 250 S fund tokens in order to be eligible to start getting into these IGOs. So without further ado, let's talk about the game at hand. So it says, explore the new world full of natural resources. Continuum is an idyllic world composed of sky islands with a natural and futuristic environment where you can collect plenty of resources. The more and better your Umi or avatar searches among all the islands, the more resources you'll obtain and which will allow you to earn our native token. Um. So this is what I'm thinking is you're going to get access like better tools and stuff to mine different resources as you explore all of these floating islands and you'll end up eventually being able to build with your own plots of land. You can acquire your own land, select the size and quantity of your purchase of NFT land, farm your land and resources to earn um, and collaborate with other players while you earn a percentage of the um obtained. You can farm your land by installing plantations, power generators, and fish farms, which all have different functions. When you gather resources, from farming your land, you can go to the market and sell them in exchange for the native token, which will also be listed in decentralized exchanges. And this is what play to earn is all about, guys, being able to do in-game activities to earn a token and do whatever you see fit for it. Um tokens is the native currency in the game. It allows players to play, invest, and also be part of the game, purchase in-game items, staking rewards, play to earn, and governance, which is kind of being able to decide the fate of the game by voting based on the amount of tokens that you have. So naturally, c has a Medium post about this. They do all of their IGOs. So if you're interested in c you should probably follow their Medium. But we're going to go down here. Since there's a lot of good information in here, but there's much more detailed stuff in the white paper that we're going to go over. But I did want to show you this trailer and how neat it is. So this is what... I would say a pretty relaxing environment, right? You're going around farming resources with other people in the community. There's different tools that you'll be able to select from. Right now, I'm seeing a pickaxe, uh, an axe, and a sickle, which is kind of like the harvesting tools. There's some fishing here. And I've played survival games for a long time where you just 
harvest these resources and build stuff that you like. And it's showing some of the actual builds here that you can do and him going to the market. There's some windmills for power generation and a little fish farm. And you can go and collect your resources after you've been building on your land. It shows a little bit of social aspect of it. I think it's a really, really neat idea the way they have everything presented. And this is the pets that we were talking about earlier. Kind of reminds me of Chocobo's from Final Fantasy. And that brings us to the white paper where we got a deeper dive into some of the information. Talks about what Continuum is and the vision for the skill team of devs that they have behind the project. Kind of sh starts talking to you about the ability to play to earn. And this is where they, they, they want to change the world with their game. And play to earn itself, guys, this is, this is kind of where I'm going with this. This is one of the reasons I pivoted for this channel because when I was growing up, I was told a bunch of times that gaming was a waste of time, right? Not by my parents. They didn't discourage me or anything. But the general consensus is that when you're entertaining yourself, you're not being productive. But this is this is entirely different. This changes the whole landscape of it. You can make money and entertain yourself at the same time. Players will be able to earn by gathering resources, purchasing farmland with unique buildings, leveling up their avatars and tools and custom inventory, selling it on the marketplace. We saw some of the different biomes in the trailer that we watched, and you're probably going to need to upgrade your characters and tools in order to harvest bigger resources or more rare resources or harder to get resources for more amounts of Umi token. Participating in activities such as races with the world's native fauna and staking the game token called Um, which will give rights and fee sharing and governance rights. So our dream is that we can change the world with our game. And I honestly think that's where play to earn is headed. So it has a couple of screenshots from the gameplay here. And I'll bring up the first one. It shows the different biomes here, but the UI is what I'm really paying attention to here. Now, there's a level of your character up at the top, as well as a stamina and energy bars. And it shows one of the farms here and some tools down here that they're using to harvest resources. OK, so there, it looks like there's a social aspect here and a settings button, along with the resources that you've acquired, as well as the um tokens and behind me, which you can't see right here is actually the time and sort of a radar where the resources might be. If we scroll down, we see a little bit of the same thing, but this is kind of interesting as well. Uh, in the tools section here, there's a pipe wrench and it looks like uh, this gal may be kind of fixing up this farm. Maybe there's some maintenance that you have to do. It says users will be able to interact and socialize in multiple ways, such as chatting, trading, and collaborating common goals. So being able to trade in-game resources, that's kind of cool, right? Uh, you can start like a trade window and just kind of look, I got some wood, you got some gems, let's trade up. We'll introduce native creatures that could be captured by the players and organic races for the competitions they're talking about. The Continuum universe will be fun above all else and have an immersive gaming experience. I like where they're going with their target audience too. No prior experience in blockchain is needed is what they say. It'll be playable from a computer or a mobile phone. And the idea behind this is the blockchain adoption is kind of clunky sometimes, right? If you come from conventional gaming like I did, there's a lot to learn. But if they make it easier for people to get into their game with no prior blockchain experience and be able to start doing the play to earn mechanics and enjoying the game without worrying about all the technical mumbo jumbo that comes with this, it's going to be very successful. I talk about this almost every Monday in a podcast that I'm part of called Around the Metaverse. And we talk about blockchain adoption in gaming and how that's one of the biggest barriers is this difficulty. So if you could get past that and really, really make it easy for people to use your game, I think more people are gonna play it. What goes into tokenomics was essentially the way that tokens work in this universe, right? There's gonna be play to earn rewards as well as staking or farming rewards. And if you're not familiar with farming yield, it's essentially being able to use your own token supply to generate more tokens passively, like investing it for an interest return, so to speak, is the easiest way to kind of put it. It helps perform transactions on the network when you stake tokens, so they reward you for it is, is the easiest way to put it, I suppose. It gives you the breakdown of the token distribution and the private sale is going to be 17.5% of the initial sale. So if you're an S fund holder and you purchase these tokens, it's going to be coming out of this budget for the token. There's also going to be a public sale, which is going to be 20 million tokens. Community play to earn staking is going to be 30% of the tokens, which is going to be 300 million and marketing partnerships, reserved team and development, all the 
other stuff that needs to be budgeted in order to make the economy balanced. They talk about some of the details for the vesting schedules and the way that liquidity and the public sale and the pre-sale distributions happen. And they go into land right here as well. Lands and NFT tokens using the ERC-721 standard on NFTs representing parcels on the continuum world. There will be a fixed supply of land making it scarce. Users will be able to own a portion of the metaverse there are necessary to place their valuable assets. So you're going to have to have land to place. I imagine there's going to be some mechanics that allow you to place on other people's land because they mentioned like guild owners and stuff. The owner, the other assets will be necessary for in-game mechanics. They'll be available at the marketplace. Some examples are power generators, fish farms, windmills, and solar panels. There'll be different sizes and quantities of land, which will affect their prices and farming potential. And they'll have a marketplace, which is a feature that users can buy and sell land, umis, and other assets in the free market, which will increase the financial incentives for users and purchase and their enhance their NFTs. So as a landowner, not only will you be able to use this in game, but you'll be able to trade it on the market if you want. You could buy land, you could watch it appreciate and sell it. You could speculate on it. It's an NFT, so anything goes, right? So token holders are eventually going to form a DAO, which is the decentralized mechanism of games. It allows players to start taking ownership of the game and being able to change the way the development works. Right now, it's quite centralized and most games start out like this. Basically, a team of developers or people get together to create and form these games and start development process. And as they start distributing these OOM tokens, you'll be able to participate in voting that will change decisions for the course of gaming in the roadmap, which is all laid out right here and some details about it. We're going to be approaching quarter four shortly where the IDO is or IGO, the land pre-sale, the marketplace options. We've already had the the launch of the website uh, in quarter one of next year, we're going to have the beta launch and the progression of Umis with leveling rewards and stuff. PVE adventure mode, Birdium, which is the racing game they talk about, tournaments, breeding. There's a lot of stuff on the roadmap. So they talk about how they started on Ethereum, which a bunch of you already know that Ethereum has high gas fees. So they adopted a layer two solution, which is Polygon or Matic. Maddox transaction fees are very, very low. A lot of this game follow this model and it works very well for them. And finally, they talk about the team for Playchain LTD, which is an interactive game studio that specializes in a bunch of different types of games. They've already worked on iOS, Android, Steam, Web, PlayStation, Vita, Nintendo Switch. So it's a pretty skilled team of developers. They made a top 10 iPad game that's already come out. And there's a bunch more information that you can find at playchain.com. So yeah, guys, that about sums it up. It looks like a pretty solid game to me. I'm definitely going to be looking to purchase these tokens as soon as I can. You can keep up with them just by signing up for your email here. There's also a bunch of links to their social media, which I'm also going to have in my description. All of the Cetify links are down there too. So like the Cetify mediums, the telegrams that you could sign up for so that you can get alerts for all of these things. So you don't have to wait on my videos to know when they come in, but it's cool that you watch them, I ain't gonna lie. I also have a Discord where I talk about a bunch of these concepts all the time. We trade and talk about NFTs and play to earn gaming and all kind of stuff. Feel free to join my Discord as well, guys. I'd love to see you around. If you're interested in this IGO, guys, make sure to come over to the C to five fun website get block pass verified the link will be in the description below connect your wallet get some s fun tokens from either kucoin or pancake swap and get into the igo it's not financial advice i'm not telling you what to invest in but if you like the look of this project typically this is the cheapest time that you're going to be able to get tokens like this so it's very very good to start doing your research now the igo is coming up soon so make sure to check the link in the description below for the exact date. Since the time of this recording, it'll be different from when you watch it. That's all I got for today, guys. Looking forward to seeing you in the Discord. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.